Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase, and this is All Things Rum. Today, we are finally looking at the Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit by Joby. Now, if you are starting on YouTube or Instagram or any type of creative content, you may be interested in what I'm about to show you. Now, the, this is in no way a cheap vlogging kit, but it may have everything you need to create professional and quality content. Okay, not the content. The content is on you. If you create garbage, then you'll be garbage, but this may give you the quality of creation that you need to, well, let's just flip the camera around and dive right into the review. Okay, so let's just open this thing up and dive right into what's inside. Now I did open it up already just to get sort of an idea, but really I didn't unbox hardly anything. It was just opened up. So let's just go ahead. Now again, this thing is all encompassing. So this is supposed to be something that, you know, you don't need anything else except a cell phone. All you need is a cell phone. This offers everything else. This offers an external microphone, an external light, and a Gorilla Pod tripod, which is a tripod that's supposed to be able to flex around things and stuff like that. So let's just see what all comes inside here. So let's start with the tripod because that is what most people are gonna be using more. So the packaging here is pretty solid. Everything is in its own little neat place. The tripod is like any gorilla style tripod that you would find. Let's see. Seems pretty firm, solid. Looks like it's gonna hold up pretty well over time. Set that off to the side. Here is your cell phone holder. You know, a lot of vlogging kits on the lower end use things that basically um, they're spring loaded. So it's similar to this, except, you know, it's a lot less sturdy, right? It's a lot less solid. This actually seems pretty substantial. And normally they just are spring loaded. So basically you would put your phone on and it would clip into place and that's it. Um, this seems far more substantial and sturdy. So basically what you would do is just like those, you would open it up, you'd close it, and then you would lock it into place. So you don't have to worry about it coming loose or being taken off. It does seem like it has pretty strong grips where the phone would go, which is nice, has a nice soft backing, and it has a mount at the top for your microphone, which is also nice. This does come on a rotating mount, which is good to see. And this itself is also rotating. Here is the light. Now it's cool that it has a diffuser that comes with it because a lot of people don't realize that when it comes to lighting, you have two different type of light. We have more than two different type of lighting, but a lot of lighting is very harsh. It's very bright and nobody ever uses a diffuser to diffuse the light. So it's not as harsh, it's softer. So it's cool that it has a nice little, it feels like silicone, a nice little silicone diffuser that goes on it. That's also nice. Let's see. Okay, it uses a type C port, which is good to see because a lot of people, still a lot of companies, a lot of Chinese companies, a lot of cheaper lower end stuff, um, still use the micro USB. And I'll tell you what, I've gone through so many micro USB cables. It is ridiculous, it's nice to see a type C connector. Okay, 
the light's pretty bright. And then with the diffuser, you can see the difference already, right? If I shine it away from my camera right over here, you can see that, okay, you know, it's, it, it's lit, but then you put the diffuser on and you can see how it disperses the light a lot better in the room. That's really cool to see, I really like that. And it does say that it has a magnetic backing, which is also cool to see. Okay, let's just take the rest of this stuff out. I'm going through. Okay, they do offer their own shotgun microphone, which is actually really cool. I'm this is one of the things I'm excited about the most because I've been using a lavalier microphone for a very long time. I have done reviews on things like this that are okay if you want to use wireless, but honestly, the best thing I've ever used in the past has been a shotgun mic. And I'm curious to see if Joby's shotgun mic can compare to something a little more expensive like the Rode Mini Mic Me that I use for so long but the Rode Mini Mic Me ended up breaking. I mean, the best sound I ever had on this channel was maybe seven to eight months ago, maybe a year ago at this point, where I had nothing but uh, sound dampening stuff in the background. I had a Rode Mini Mic Me directly pointed at my face, and honestly, the sound was crisp and clear, and it was amazing. So I wonder if theirs is gonna be any good. We'll find out. So let's just go ahead and basically kind of put everything together. Now, this is designed for an iPhone, right? It comes with a lightning adapter, which is also great. It, it comes with a wind diffuser and every, you know, let's just, let's just build this and I'll show you exactly how to set it up. Minus on my phone, because my phone is being used right now to record this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up and I'm gonna show you how it looks before the phone goes in. Then I'm gonna put my phone in and we'll test everything while I'm actually filming this review. Dude looks like a, uh, I'm building a little robot. Make sure that you guys are checking the cables. One of the things that I did in the past with another one of the uh, audio things that I did um, was I didn't check to see if there's specific iPhone or smartphone or camera. And it, I spent at least 45 minutes problem solving that the, the simplest thing was I was using the wrong cord. So make sure you guys are using the correct cord. This one says smartphone and microphone. So. This goes in the top of your microphone or on the back of your microphone. Okay, now this is the entire setup. And if I were to go outside, I would definitely put this windsock on just like this. I really don't need this right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from my Comica lavalier mic that I use all the time, that's a wired mic attached to my phone right now. We're gonna go ahead and put my phone in this. I'm gonna set up this tripod and I'm gonna finish the review by simply going over the pros and cons of what I have in front of me. Now, you may not see this anymore, but we'll discuss the microphone. You'll hear exactly how the microphone sounds because the sound will be coming directly from the microphone. You'll see how the lighting is because I'll turn it on and I'll turn it off 
so that you guys have a basic understanding. Now, this other one over here, if you want, some people like to add like GoPro mounts and stuff like that because they wanna be seen from different angles. So an example is if I put this over here and I have a GoPro right over here, then basically I can create a second angle of recording that I can just edit in later. So this is gonna be just an empty hand. I mean, it looks like a hand, everybody, it looks, this looks like a little guy, right? This little guy is holding a light in one side and he has three fingers on the other side. So let's just go ahead and switch the camera angles around and then go right back to looking at me and we'll go over all the functionality. Now everything currently is being done from their vlogging kit. The external microphone that they offered their shotgun mic is on top of my phone right now that's attached to their tripod, their mounting system without the light turned on at this moment. And honestly, I can say this, the tripod feels extremely high quality. It's one of those things where it's like if you find a Gorillapod style that can flex and bend, you know, that's more on the affordable. And let's, let, let's just say you go to Walmart and find one. Basically, what you're doing is you are you have something that works sort of well, but is it going to hold up over the long period of time? Honestly, it feels like this thing is going to hold up forever. It feels like I'm not going to have any issues with this ever in the future. It feels like the quality is there for the arms and the tripod legs. Now, that's that's really good to see. I'm really happy with that so far right off the bat. Now, the microphone. I'm only using the microphone right now. The microphone setup, the way shotgun microphones are supposed to work is it's a directional microphone that's supposed to be, you know, within a foot to two feet, maybe even further of the person who's speaking. So right now it's about, I want to say two feet away from my face. So that should be well within the range of it picking up great audio or at least decent audio quality outside of what the microphone on my phone would do itself. Now also directional mics are meant to stop the ambient sound that are around and only focus on the sound that is in front of it. That's why it's a shotgun mic, right? It's like a shotgun. It blows out, you know, sort of this direction. It's supposed to, you know, reduce all the background noise, unlike some lavalier microphones. So if you are in a place where you're like, hey, it's a little windy outside, you can go ahead and put the wind sock on and it's gonna reduce a lot of noise. Then it's gonna directionally focus onto your mouth. So you guys can tell me how the microphone sounds. Now, again, it's one of those things where when it comes to even the Rode Mini Mic Me, it doesn't offer any ability to up the gain or anything like that. That's going to be something more like a lavalier or a lavalier that is wireless that can also do something similar. But normally shotgun mics are, this is what you get. Now let's talk about the light. The light is off to the side. I don't have it turned on and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, that's, I think, the brightest setting. I think it goes immediately to bright. No, that's the lowest setting. So right now it's on the lowest setting. You can see that it is bright. I couldn't imagine it being, uh, you needing anything else, but it's good that it does offer more on the brightness scale when uh, you could be filming something from a distance. So that's good, it is gonna light up a lot of things. Now this right now is harsh light. This is an LED light that has no diffuser on it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the diffuser on so you guys can see just how they're supposed to sort of soften up the light. So let me go ahead and toss that on. Now you can see already that the light is still, there's still an ambient light source coming off from the side. It's directly right here, but it's not as harsh as it was before. A lot of people don't use diffusers. I don't know why they don't use diffusers. Harsh light is harsh light and it is a bright, brilliant harsh. It's even hard to look towards if you don't have a diffuser. So the quality of the light is also really high. And I like the fact that it has a magnet on the back that allows you to stick it to metal surfaces. So let's just say you're out and you're doing a car vlog, right? And you're like, hey, I want to show you guys this, but instead of having to deal with a tripod or all this and move this stuff around, I can, boom, I can toss it on the underside of a hood and then show you what I'm trying to show you if I was doing a car vlog. I don't do car vlogs but it's just an example. Or if I'm in a room and I'm like, hey, I want to get some, you know, I like using my Joby Gorillapod tripod. However, I want the light to be off to the side and I have a metal cabinet right there. I can attach the light right there. Boom. Get nice side lighting with the light. And again, it can get bright 
extremely bright or it can get dim. Make sure you guys are using the diffuser. So how do I feel about this entire setup, right? This entire setup was $199, 200 bucks for the entire thing. How's the microphone? Well, I did listen to the audio and the microphone is decent, right? Is it the quality of a Rode Mini Mic Me? It depends. I think when it comes to microphones, you guys are really going to have to play with it and make sure you get it in the right position. Now, it does have a holder. You guys saw me put it on the holder in the top. The issue with that is, is it's, it's unless you have the phone exactly where you want it to be, it's not as directional as it should be. So an example, I'm going to go ahead and grab the mic. I'm going to go ahead and point it closer down towards my face. That's technically probably where it should be, but because it has a a holder at the top that stops it from getting shocked and stuff like that, it, it doesn't give you the ability to really maneuver it and make it more directional. So that's something that would be like a nitpicky thing that is it really a big deal? Not really. The issue is, is if I have it pointed down closer to my face, then what happens is my head starts getting cut off on the picture frame, right? We want to be within two thirds or three quarters or whatever you want to be within your frame. But for me, sort of the way it's set up right now or whatever you guys have seen in the past is what I like. So for me, I would have to use maybe a different type of setup when it comes to their microphone. I wouldn't put it necessarily on the top of my phone. I may put it off to the side or something else. I'll give an example. They offer something like this. This is an external carrier that could go where I showed you guys where people would put the GoPro. A GoPro doesn't have to be there. I could easily put this, in fact, hold on. Hold the thought, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so how's that? Is that any better? So what I ended up doing is I took the microphone from the top and I added it to that additional arm that really didn't have anything that people could put a GoPro on. Now it offered an additional mount to where I could mount it to that. And what I did was I made it closer to my face, just slightly, not up above. And it gives me the ability to have it more directional to my face. So this may be better quality audio than it was prior, simply because I just did exactly what they recommended, sort of on their front cover. Now, did I read the directions? No, because all this stuff is pretty easy to set up, right? A microphone is very easy to set up if you don't have to worry about the gain or anything like that. The light is very easy to set up when an on, with an on and off switch and the ability to increase the dim or decrease the dim. It, all that stuff is very, very easy to figure out. You don't necessarily need the directions. But when it comes to stuff like directional microphones, it's extremely important that you figure out a good setup for your vlog. It may not work on the top. Like, I don't think it was really working for me, but it may work better off to the side, slightly closer. I like the fact that they offer the Gorilla Pod arms on the side where I can adjust the light on this side, I can adjust the microphone on this side, and honestly, it gives you the ability to create a better quality experience for your viewers. So what is my, what are my thoughts on this? $199. Well, I can tell you what. The microphone, I think, is decent if you're able to get it in the right place. Same thing with the Rode Mini Mic Me. It can have terrible sounding audio or it can have great sounding audio. It depends on your setup. It depends on the wires that you use. If you use something like a, a 3.5 millimeter jack extending cable. Now you have to realize the longer the cable is, the more likely you are to get noise within the cable if you don't use something high quality. Now what's noise? Noise could be something like static. Right, it could use it could be something like clarity. So the the bigger cables you have, the longer cables you have when you do something like these mobile vlogging kits, basically you have to realize that there is the ability to get some sort of interference within the cable. The cables they offer are short. I like the fact that the setup is very nice. I'm looking at the microphone right now. The setup is nice if you can get it set up correctly. So is the microphone just as good as a Rode Mini Mic main? That's like 80 bucks. Honestly, I think it's pretty comparable if you can get it set up correctly. The light. The light's pretty dang good too. And I like the fact that they offer the ability for it to have a magnetic mount. It can mount on anything. And honestly, I think that it's going to last for a long time once you have it charged up. I like the fact that they use the C style cable as opposed to a micro USB. That's also good. The entire setup to include the holder. Now I did a review a year ago on a cheap $40 kit from Walmart. And I can tell you what, 
This is worlds beyond it, right? We're talking from affordable to high quality. The things that they offer in this kit, I honestly think are for people who seriously wanna do travel vlogging, seriously wanna create good content for their YouTube channel. Are you spending a lot of money? Is 200 bucks a lot of money? Yeah, 200 bucks is a lot of money, but it's all encompassing, the only thing you need is a phone. So all, as long as you have your cell phone, and your cell phone can create good video. Your cell phone can create good enough video as long as the audio is good, as long as your setup is great, and you have something that someone wants to watch. Honestly, I think that this is a great starting kit if you are beginning or if you're experienced, right? For me, I have tripods all over the house. I have tripods all over my studio. I have different microphones. I'll show you an example. So like this, this is a Comica shotgun mic. This thing is garbage, absolute garbage. I think this thing is like 45 or 50 bucks um, on Amazon. I wasted my money on it so you guys didn't have to. Garbage. This right here. These are, are decent, right? They're okay if you want to deal with having a wireless mic system. This is very easy when it comes to, hey, I wanna create a podcast, I need two different people on the same signal or the same channel, I wanna do it through my phone so I don't have to worry about mixing things, that's great too. But this is also, um, the light just turned off. This is also uh, like 160 bucks. So you can go out and you can be like me, trying to figure out how to set up a good setup on your on your YouTube channel or your vlogging or your Instagram or whatever. But save yourself the money and get something that's quality, that's also affordable. Now you may think, again, $200 isn't really affordable. It is if you spend 50 bucks on one thing and another tripod is 80 bucks and this is another 30 bucks and this light is this. I mean, you can go through and I can tell you that I've spent three times as much money on things that I don't even use anymore just trying to figure out what works for my channel. So this is really good if you are looking for a setup. If you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, you may spend a little bit of money up front, like the 200 bucks up front, but honestly, I think you're getting a hell of a deal. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see. On this channel, I have a lot of videos coming up in the future, so make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so that you guys can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time.